Welcome back everyone. Congratulations if you just went ahead and purchased your Galaxy Tab S8, S8 Plus, or S8 Ultra. It's a very great tablet with so much capability. And let's go ahead and give you a quick breakdown of pretty much how to use this tablet. Now this is very similar to pretty much any other Android tablet you'll ever use. So if you've used uh, any other Android tablet or really any other Android phone, it's pretty much the same process. So don't get discouraged. It's nothing super crazy. And this is a very basic tablet with a lot of features inside of it. Now a lot of these do come with that S Pen and you know the stylus with it. I won't go into super great detail about that in this video. I will make separate videos on my second channel about it, but it's pretty much a stylus with extra capability and all that good stuff. Now starting off on the outside, you do have a pretty big display. Now these come in a couple of different sizes, but the displays are still really good even on the regular Tab S8, which is so cool. So you have the display here, you have the camera here, usually with the USB Type-C charger on the right side, it'll pretty much be on the front, which is really cool on the top. So on the top or the side of the tablet, whichever way you look at it, you do have your fingerprint sensor and power button right here and your volume down and up buttons right here too. So depending on which way you hold it, you can go and configure it this way. You have a microphone right here and you have your SD card slot here. So if you have an SD card, you know, eject tool, you can go and input that right here, just right into this hole. You can take this specific tool thing out. You can actually go ahead and, you know, put your SD card in here if you want to. You can slide it back in close it into place, and you can pretty much use your tablet and have an expanded storage, which is really cool. Now on the bottom of this tablet, you do have your charger port right there, which is awesome, as well as some speakers. On the other side, you have this magnetic clasp, so you can go ahead and connect your keyboard if you want to, and it can configure right into your place, which is really cool. And on the other side, you just have your speakers. And on the back of the tablet, we do have the Samsung logo. We have this AKG speakers, whatever. We have a slot to pretty much put our stylus in. If we want to go ahead and place the stylus right there, it can kind of help expand and kind of, you know, maneuver our, you know, tablet to a certain way too. And we have a dual camera setup or, you know, a different camera setup, depending if you have the other models. And that's pretty much it on the outside. It's nothing super crazy. Very, very premium. It's not going to really easily bend. I would still recommend putting a case on it, but it feels like a very premium tablet. Now turning it on, you can hold down the power button up here and it'll go and turn the tablet on, but you can also go ahead and the first time you power it on, it'll go ahead and allow you to go through the setup process. It's a lot of personal information. It's going to vary per person. So you just want to follow the on-screen instructions, log in with your Google account, and the rest is completely configurable to you. Now I'm going to go ahead and place this down so we can go through the lock screen and everything. Okay, now that we have the tablet booted up and ready to go, the lock screen is very basic. It's nothing crazy. If you've used any Android tablets that I mentioned before, it's very basic, or even any Android phone. So you'll have the time right here. You'll also have the notification bar up top, whether you can see it or not. You also have the notifications here. So if you click on notifications, you can get an expanded list of all the notifications you have. Now at the bottom here, you can always click out of it to go out of it. You have you know, your quick toggle here, so if you want to quickly get into a quick toggle for your notes, you can go here. If you want to quickly get into your quick toggle for your camera, you can swipe this way to get into your camera. Now another cool thing, sometimes they'll take you in, you have the nav bar at the bottom so you can always go back home, but a really cool thing is if you ever want to power on your tablet without clicking on the power button, as long as your tablet is on, you can double tap the display to turn your display on. You can also double tap the display on an empty spot to turn it off as well. So there's a lot of capability there. I know that's pretty basic, but I love having that type of stuff. So turning it back on, if you ever want to swipe out of here, you can swipe up and it may tell you to type in your passcode or type in your fingerprints or whatever. Just go ahead and configure it however you did and you'll come to your home screen. Now this is exactly where you'll end up being no matter where you are on your tablet. So whether you're on you know, your you know, file browser, you can click home, you'll come here. So you have your home screen here, you can have your widgets, your app icons and everything. Now at the bottom we have our navigation bar. So here the middle button is our home button. So if we're ever in an application, we can go and click here to get home. We have our recents button. So if we ever have you know many applications in the background, we can click recents and we can see a complete list of all the applications that we have, which is really cool. Now the back button will pretty much just bring us back to where we were before. So if I open up the Play Store, I've been using this example and I wanna go back to the previous page. Well, you know, instead of clicking the button up here, I can click this back button and it'll take me back to pretty much where I was before. So that's a really cool thing you have the opportunity of. You can click the home button to pretty much come back home and this is your home tab. Now you can go ahead and add different pages here if you want to. There's so much capability here. You can modify all these applications. So let's say I wanted to bring a different application to my home screen. Well, first of all, let's figure out how to go ahead and move these things around. To move any of these things around, you can go and hold it down like this and you can move it around wherever you want to. It shows you some blocks on the screen so you can go and configure it. And from there, you can go ahead and kind of expand it however you want to. Really, this is completely customizable. You can expand this however which way. So if you want to make this bigger, you can go and do that way. If you want this to be in the center, you can go this way. There's so much capability here, and you, I can spend 50 hours talking about it, to be honest. Now you can do the same thing with removing the widgets and the app icons as well. So, 
So let's say I didn't like this widget. Well, I can click here and I can go and hold it down and I can click remove and it'll go ahead and remove that widget. I can do the same exact thing with these app icons too. So if I go and hold down this app icon, I can move it wherever I want to. I can go and hold it down again and I can click remove and it'll go ahead and remove that app icon. But you can see we don't have all of our apps here. And the dock also doesn't have all of our apps. It just has the ones that we want saved at the bottom. Well, to see all of our applications, we can swipe up from the top and we will see all the apps that we have on our tablet. So we can go ahead and maneuver through here whichever way we want to swipe left, swipe right, and we will see a massive list of all the applications that we have. Now this is a very, very basic thing because there's nothing super crazy here. It's very easy to go ahead and see and kind of see all your applications. And this is really cool. So let's say I want the stack application on the front page. Well, to do that, I will go and hold down on this application here. I'll go and drag it up and I can go and drag it wherever I want to. Let's say I don't want it there. I can go and drag it here. I can go and swing to the next page. I guess we can do two screens. And I can go and drop it wherever I want to. And that's another really awesome thing that we have the capability of. Again, nothing crazy. It's nothing complicated. But that's another basic thing that a lot of people use on their specific Android tablets. Now, another thing that I use all the time. Now, another thing I use all the time on my Android tablets is the quick toggles. So what these are is pretty much if we swipe down from the top to get into our notification drawer, we will see a massive list of all the applications and notifications that we have here. But if we swipe down once more, we will pretty much get into our quick toggles. So what these quick toggles are is pretty much, first of all, starting from the top, we have a search bar, we have our you know time and everything up here. We have a power button where we can quickly power on or off and restart our device, which is really cool. We go and click the back button, we can come back down here, swipe down once more, we can go and see device control, media output, but we'll get these quick toggles right here. So what we can do is not only configure our brightness so we can turn on or off and even turn on or off adaptive brightness and click done, but you can also go ahead and configure your brightness by sliding this up and down like so. Hopefully I set it back in the right direction. And you can also configure your quick toggles. So this shows you your Wi-Fi, your location services, airplane mode, so much stuff. There's so much capability here. So what I'd recommend doing is scrolling through here and reading through and figuring out which ones you like, which ones you don't like. And from there, you can click this plus button on the second page and you can go ahead and see even more widgets that they didn't add. So if you like a widget up here, you can go and take it, scroll it down, and it's now there. If you don't like a widget, you can take it back up and just hold it down, take it back up like so. You can go and drop it there too. So it's a really cool thing. I utilize that all the time. And it's one of my favorite things about using really any Android phone because you can really configure a lot of these different quick toggles. So if I go and click done, it'll allow me to get out of it there. If I go and you know want to turn on the flashlight or anything, well, you have that capability there, which is really cool. To get out of it, you can swipe up from the bottom, swipe up again, and you'll come back home. Now the basic things like downloading applications and you know kind of viewing other apps and updating your apps can be done within the Play Store. So if we go and click on the Play Store, usually you'll come into a page like this. This is where you can download and install all your applications that your heart desires. So if you want to look for an app, you know, if we click here, let's say Genshin Impact, well you can type it in just like how I typed it in here, and you can install it. Now if you see an app, you can go ahead and you know install it, you can uninstall it, you can play it, you can also update that application through this specific page too. Now, if you ever want to go ahead and hop into the app that you prefer, you can go and click here. You can go back into whatever app you were there before. You can go through it. Now, another thing we can do is split screen multitask, and these tablets are great for it. So what we can do here is right on top of this tab under the recents, we can go ahead and click here, and we can go ahead and click open in split screen view. What this allows us to do is it allows us to have one app over here and another app on the other side. Now, not every app is compatible, but most of them are. You'd be surprised. And let's say I want the gallery app to be on that side. Well, look what happened. I have the gallery app now here, and I can go ahead and utilize these two apps literally side by side one another, which is so awesome. So now if I want to use this app, I can do it here. If somebody else wants to use the other app here, they can go for it. You can also configure these around by clicking on the top here. You can go and hold it down and you know put it on this way. You can have them top to bottom here. If you ever want to get out of it, you can click the home button, you can click out of here, or you can swipe this out and now it'll be fine. If you go back into the Play Store, you'll see it's the same application. You can go and click home and you'll come back home. Now let's go and make our way over to our settings application. So if you swipe up, we can go and search for the settings app, but let's say you don't know where the settings app is. Well, you can always click the search bar up here. We can click search and we can not only search for applications, we can search for files, we can literally search for anything. So let's go and type in settings, so just like so. And before we even are done typing it in, we can go and click on it here and it'll go and open. Now there's a lot of stuff here, but if you're ever in need of a certain toggle within settings, all you have to do is click on the little search bar up there and you can literally search for anything that you want to search for. So if it's, you know, updating your tablet, you can type in update. And before you're pretty much even done, there's probably already update 
panels you can search for it down here you can find an update whatever your specifically thing you're looking forward to now there's a lot of stuff here like i mentioned so there's connections sound and vibrations display if you ever want to configure anything with your display including your motion smoothness as well as putting on gestures instead of the nav bar well you can come here you can scroll down into your navigation bar and you can turn on gestures if you like it for this example i just kept the home button here it's a little bit easier but you can use the gestures if you like you can change your wallpaper and style your home screen lock screen privacy location i mean the list goes on and on so what i would recommend doing is going through here and configuring you know your settings and seeing which ones you like and just kind of understanding the settings page but the software update panel is a big one so if we go and click here right here where it says download and install the best thing to do is to get used to this specific you know panel and updating your tablet as often as possible if you're on a very outdated version of android that can cause some issues on your tablet so every once in a while just come here update your android tablet and you will probably be in a better situation than not if you honestly update it frequently so that's pretty much it that's how to use your tablet for the most part again nothing crazy you should have a decent understanding of how to use your you know galaxy tab s8 by now if you have any questions or anything let me know in the comments section below hit the like button that means so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then